Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of Scrap Mechanic. My name is Lord Payne and I know it's been a long time since my uh, last video but uh, yeah I was quite busy uh, working on some other stuff some real real life uh, uh, stuff and um, yeah I still found some time to uh, make a new car uh, it's that one over there. I'm not going to show you that uh, right now, but uh, it will be on my maybe on my next video. I'm not really sure because it's using some mods that um, I still have to release. So um, uh, yeah. Uh, so as I was building that car, I uh, came up with this uh, new idea uh, of uh, steering method. A really compact, really small and tight uh, steering for a double wishbone suspension. So, um, as you can see over here, it's really small, and uh, you can also use it um, on a uh, on a small wheel without any, uh, let's say, collision problems. So, um, this is how it works. And let me actually place the lift underneath here so you can see how it works so it doesn't matter where you are you can steer without any collision problems as you can see it's really good so um, I'm using the vanilla bearings on this one just to uh, uh, make it easier for you to understand how this one works uh, I will make a new one right now using some different uh, parts and I will also upload one to the workshop maybe this one or the one I'm building right now uh, I'm not really sure but one of them will be definitely in the workshop so you can uh, download it and uh, just um, see how it's how it's made how I made it and maybe build your own so like I said it's not about the suspension it's it's more about uh, the steering because it's so compact and it works really good so let's actually get started and make a new one and uh, let's start as uh, usual with uh, two bearings and then I'm using um, the plates from my uh, plates by Lord Payne mod um, these two plates you can also find them in the mod pack polygons I guess but you will also need this small wedge and um, yeah you can like I said uh, you can use these plates by Lord Payne um, mod pack so let's go on and build the double wishbones so um, let me actually put it on the lift so it's a bit easier for me to build okay so this will be the standard double wishbone a very simplified version and now you usually when you try to build the double wishbone you will go somewhere something like that and like that and then place your steering bearing underneath here and then go from here to your uh, to your wheel uh, like this but first of all this doesn't look that good and also if you're using bigger wheels it might be a problem during uh, cornering because this steering bearing or the the bearings on the double wishbone wishbones uh, won't uh, hold the um, uh, the wheel during cornering um, and it will just look weird and act strange so um, if you want to make it a bit more stable then uh, you will normally uh, put this wishbone uh, one block lower uh, like this and you will have like one block in be in between the, the, the wishbones and then you would um, you would place uh, a steering bearing uh, over there and then another one underneath here and then go on with the with the second uh, wishbone and you would place your wheel um, over here 
so this will be the steering but this one is also bigger as you can see and you don't have enough place uh, enough uh, clearance underneath here so I combined this these two methods and um, what I'm doing is is this I'm using this three-way pipe uh, on top and on the bottom and then I'm using the steering bearings one on top one underneath here and then go on with these plates to the back well not not to the front to the back like that and then using these small wedges to connect them uh, like that no that's the wrong direction over there and then weld them together okay now i'm going to connect these two bearings with the steering uh, just to make it a bit stiffer so uh, this will be the the double wishbone setting and uh, we remove the lift and then place another plate uh, on this upper plate not on the lower one on this one over here just like that and then underneath here place this one like that so here you could place your um, uh, engine bearing where you can place the wheel on it yeah so this is this is pretty much it i will paint this one white and just so you can see it better i will make this uh, three-way pipes black and maybe paint the double wishbones in uh, in yellow okay so this will be the steering you can of course also connect this lower bearing just to make it a bit stiffer a bit more uh, stable but uh, that's pretty much it now we also have to place uh, suspension on it and i also to make it a bit prettier i will place these two pipes and uh, also do something like this just like I said just to make it a bit uh, prettier one like that one like that now you can of course also use bearings but I don't really recommend that because it will cause a bit more um, lag okay so these are the double wishbones now we have to uh, connect the suspension so therefore I will place one bearing over there and I will use this uh, this adapter because I think the suspension looks better on that one and I will also uh, paint it blue because I don't know why I just like dark blue for for the suspension and of course we need another one on top like this and uh, let's place um, let's see we need this one over here and we need another bearing and um, something like that I will pick it up on the lift again and then connect like that weld them together come on yes and then just make it also black so this will be the car body and then um, like I said before just to make it look a bit prettier I will connect and will place this um, plate over there and another one over here like that paint it black and of course connect this bearing to the controller now uh, most of you guys connect uh, this this other bearing to the controller and then you just give it uh, the height you want but i prefer connecting this bearing and then flip it to 90 degrees so this will be a straight line i think that looks a lot better so um, let's see i will just rotate 50 degrees you see that's the wrong direction and flip it and then turn it up 
to 90 degrees and as you can see this is a straight line and it will also stay a straight line now I have to remove the steering of course and uh, yeah this is how the double wishbone suspension and uh, compact steering uh, looks like now I'm thinking about uh, this here might cause uh, uh, problems I'm not sure if that's the uh, if that is a problem then you can of course also use uh, this three-way pipe underneath there uh, so you won't have any collision issues but I think this one looks better so let me actually see um, how this one works I will weld it to the ground um, just to be able just to be able to place the lift underneath here and then of course let's see uh, as you can see it flexes really good and the steering also works really good so as you can see this uh, part over here it's colliding with the white uh, steering part so I think I'll change that so let me remove um, let me change this one so like I said use this standard three-way pipe this will fit perfectly okay place it like that and you can leave that actually on top I'm not sure if it's connected I think it's not connected we will see that right now no it's not okay so um, you know what actually I will place this one like that and place this one again and this way it will be connected so I also paint it dark blue like I said I don't know why I'm painting it uh, dark blue it's just <laughs> I like blue for suspension so as you can see now it works just fine uh, let me try and weld it here back in place and see how this one works yeah it's just fine so let's see uh, how's the steering uh, left right works just fine no issues as you can see uh, that that will be too much flexing but uh, it's something like one and a half blocks if I'm not wrong so so this would be one block and an and a half but you can't do that with the lift so uh, yeah it works really good it looks really good it's it's really small and compact and um, you can of course use different suspensions but I think the steering it's really the the um, smallest uh, steering on a double wishbone uh, suspension uh, in the workshop right now so um, uh, yeah I really like it <laughs> now you can of course also mount a wheel uh, one block higher depends depends on, on how you want to build your car you can just uh, flip it upside down or place this uh, this plate over here place it on the lower plate and then this plate over here place it on top that would uh, work too but if you want to use it with uh, three by one wheels I think this is the way to go yeah so as I said um, I will upload it to the workshop uh, maybe just uh, let's see I will put an, a controller on it and I will uh, upload maybe just this part let's see maybe I will make um, make it like this just so you can test it and uh, yeah that's pretty much it I hope you like this new uh, steering method um, let me know what you think in the comments down below um, maybe just post some links to your uh, creation if you're using this on your creation let show me what you what you did with uh, with this uh, steering and uh, also feel free to join my discord server if you want to stay in touch with me 
and um, yeah don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel and you don't want to miss future updates or more scrap mechanic creations and tutorials and stuff like that so this off-road car over there coming really soon I hope I find some time to make a video about it and I will also upload it to the workshop so that's it for today guys thanks everyone for watching and uh, I see you next time bye bye